Hey guys, Lockbreak Gaming here, and today I'll be doing the Neji SS rank, um, a future to protect or whatever. That's not the main point. Um, I'm gonna be like showing you how I did it. I get that it's kind of useless now that the rate's going away, but it's more like for future reference. Um, back then, when it first released, the um, blazing was kind of dying down for me, so I didn't really bother too much with it. But now I'm getting back into blazing because of the um, year end stuff, you know, of Sasuke and Itachi, which I will do a summon video of. I mean, we'll see how the banner is. And then, yeah, just going over as like a short guide video, I guess. So, my strategy here is pretty basic 3rd year anniversary, sinking to nullify immobilization and jutsu sealing. Um, though the immobilization is only for Obito because. Um, both Kakashi's are wisdom, so they are unable. They are unable to get the nullify mobilization by sinking with all except wisdom. But you know the main point is Jutsu sealing, and then we have Orochimaru here for damage reduction, body skill as well as giving a little bit of healing and luck. I didn't grind him to 99 because, like I said, blazing was kind of dying down for me. Um, we have Madara here for ignoring substitution AOE for his ultimate and some healing and then Shikamaru here is for the blazing blazing bravery damage reduction so yeah we'll get into the map and I'll explain more so the first map is basically just tons of um, weak grunts like I, what I like to do is start off with an Obito Jutsu so that way I can give Chakra to um, skill Madara so when I need him, he'll have his ultimate And then we just pick them off one by one with Kakashi's Jutsu Because he does a lot of damage and one shots them As well as ignoring substitution So the bravery damage reduction is coming in handy here For Obito And then Kakashi does give um, um, damage reduction and dam damage reduction and substitution with his field skill so the friend Kakashi will have a total of 60% bravery damage reduction basically So he'll be able to tank very well as you can see He's taking blue numbers But my Kakashi just taking like 30% only So we'll pick them off the last two Nothing too difficult here I mean they give each other substitution so you need to keep that in mind so now the second wave, usually I will use my Obito Jutsu if I get a reset like the first time but since I don't I rather not restart getting a reset again so I'll try to keep my chakra as high as possible for map 2 which I'll get into why later so comes Madara ultimate to wipe them all out because they can't dodge it Very satisfying as well. So this map Neji, only one unit, single target, nothing to worry about. So what I like to do on this map is just spam Kakashi Jutsu again. You know? Since this isn't much I don't have to use any ultimates. And whenever he does his secret technique, he chakra seals and attack weakens. Which is why I'll let Obito take it. Because if he chakra seals Kakashi, I can't spam the normal jutsus without sacrificing Chi Chakra Which defeats the whole point of using Kakashi's first jutsu Which is also why I want to keep Obito's chakra count as high as possible So that way, he won't be too affected by his chakra sealedness for map 3 So yeah, not too difficult as well This just continues until I defeat him. So yeah, see you once I move on to match 3. Oh yeah, and if Kakashi does get hit with Chakra Sealing, just don't use his Jutsu. So yeah, okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the, uh, the third map. So usually I would like to start off with Obito here. So that way I can separate them more effectively, I'll show you in a bit. Because Naruto and Sasuke not Naruto and Sasuke Naruto and Neji are like 
you don't want them to hit you both simultaneously cause it's gonna be like very very annoying so I usually start off with Obito split them up although that splitting up doesn't really matter since they'll go for the nearest target and most of the time Neji sometimes just doesn't give a care about who's nearest to him so we we'll start off with Kakashi's ultimate sword Neji if Kakashi got attack weakened in the previous map I usually hold off on the ultimate But he just lost his attack weakening so we'll do his ultimate now Sometimes you get lucky with the resets depending if your friend has one or you have one I mean if you have the 7th ability you should breeze through this pretty easily Just make sure Naruto and um, Neji doesn't hit you Because it's gonna do a lot a lot of damage no matter how much damage reduction you have So I like to keep them apart Obito can tank Naruto, especially with Orochimaru helping And then the bottom part, um, they give each other damage reduction like I say with the few skill If you get immobilized, it's unfortunate but you can just tank it out And you really need to have, it will really help to have Obito's reset more than Kakashi's reset Because Obito's the only thing that keeps you from dying For this setup at least because of the 10,000 healing but not yet but he's building it up so as you can see sometimes Neji just doesn't care he just goes for whoever he likes and the knockback sometimes can be dangerous because sometimes um, you will knock back your units together which will make it hard for you to avoid getting hit by both Naruto and Neji So now we are at 10,000 healing which is very good so I don't have to worry about healing now I just have to worry about survival so just stay at the bottom far end and you should be fine and then with chakras like full map ultimate you can just like attack him without being to get close to him really Naruto is the the guy you have to worry about because his continuous can really really hurt you if you have free I mean if you have wisdom units out but good thing is he goes for the nearest units so we can just make Obito stay as close as possible because he's out I mean Neji's ultimate doesn't do much other than immobilize you which will hurt of course but you can just wait it out this will not guarantee you an under 50 turns it really is RNG based in this case depending on how much um, resets you get from Kakashi as you can see the knockback made it so both Kakashi and uh, um, Obito has to get hit but you can get lucky and dodge it like I did the second jutsu there So this isn't that difficult if you have the right setup Like I struggle a lot without this setup so You know it's up to you um, If you have Hinata of course you probably wouldn't even need this guy Okay so I'm in a dangerous situation I don't want to push him away even more So he'll hit all Kakashi so I'll move up And the nearest unit will be Kakashi and Obito but Hopefully he goes for Obito after the first continuous Or like he will split them up Okay Obito dodges pretty nice Obito's 7 ability at least make him, makes him get 50% dodge So if you have that that's pretty good But if you don't it's whatever So right now as you can see I'm pretty damaged right that's why you really don't want to group them up but Obito's healing just comes in clutch and heals everything so I would say um, these three are very vital you can't like leave out any of them for the remaining units just try to find as much damage reduction as you can and base healing cause you can't just entirely rely on Obito cause if Obito doesn't get the resets and then his healing timer runs out then you're in trouble 
So now we can just finish off with regular juices. We are in no threat at all. So yeah. Pretty simple. Especially since they're all bravery. You can basically like build around it. Rather than having to accommodate for the various typings. In, in, in like other SS ranks. But I feel like nowadays SS ranks. They are becoming more and more like one typing thing. Like, you know, like they used to have bravery, wisdom, and then like a uh, skill or heart or body type at the end. But now it's just mainly one type throughout, which is good. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, try to bring a good friend Kakashi. Like my Kakashi is not duped at all. So you just need a good friend Kakashi. Obito try to get resets, like the resetting ability. So yeah, that's it. Pretty simple if you have the right units and then under 50 turns just try to get lucky I'm not sure if I got under 50 turns this time but I probably didn't because I got set back a lot so yeah thanks for watching